Question number 2 says that simplify and express the result in power notation with positive exponent. That is, after simplification, we must get the powers positive. So, before we get on to solving these problems, let's first revise few of the laws of exponents. So, we have a raised to m divided by a raised to n. The bases are same and they are in division. So, the powers get subtracted. That is, we write it as a raised to m minus n. The second is a raised to m times a raised to n. That is, the bases are same and they are in multiplication this time. So, the powers get added. So, we write it as a raised to m plus n. The third one is a raised to negative m. That is, a base has been raised to a negative power. So, to get it, that we can have a positive power, we can write it as 1 over a raised to m. So, now let's get on to solving the bits which is given to us in the problem. We'll start with the first one which says negative 4 raised to 5 divided by negative 4 raised to 8. So, the bases are same and they're in division. So, the powers must get subtracted. So, we write this as negative 4 raised to 5 minus 8 and so we get it as negative 4 raised to negative 3. Now, we can see that there is a negative sign inside the brackets. So, whenever negative is raised to an odd power, the result will also be negative. So, we can finally write this as negative 1 over 4 whole raised to 3. So, this is how we solve this problem. Now, let's get on to the second bit which says 1 over 2 raised to 3 whole raised to 2. So, the power gets individually applied to the numerator and to the denominator. So, we write 1 raised to 2 divided by 2 raised to 3 whole raised to 2. So, in this case, we have 2 raised to 3 which is again raised to another power which is 2. So, the powers get multiplied. So, the answer will be 1 over 2 raised to 6. So, the whole of this can be written as 1 over 2 whole raised to 6. Now, let's get on to the third bit. The third bit is We have negative 3 raised to 4 times 5 over 3 whole raised to 4. So, we can write this as 3 raised to 4 because the negative is raised to an even power. So, it will become positive. And then the power is given individually to the numerator and to the denominator in the second term. So, we write it as 5 raised to 4 divided by 3 raised to 4. So, 3 raised to 4 and 3 raised to 4 gets cancelled and we get 5 raised to 4 as the answer for the third bit. Now, let's get on to the fourth bit. So, in the fourth bit, we have 3 raised to negative 7 divided by 3 raised to negative 10 and this whole is multiplied to 3 raised to negative 5. So, we'll simplify this first. So, as we can see that the bases are same and they are in division, then the powers must get subtracted. So, we write 3 raised to negative 7 negative of negative that is minus of minus 10 multiplied with 3 raised to negative 5. So, this we get this as 3 raised to negative 7 plus 10 because negative of negative becomes positive times 3 raised to negative 5. So, we get it as 3 raised to 3 times 3 raised to negative 5. So, the bases are same and they are in multiplication. The powers must get added. So, we get 3 raised to 3 minus 5. So, the answer is 3 raised to negative 2. But the power here is negative. So, this can be written as 1 over 3 whole raised to 2. This is how we solve the fourth problem. Now, let's get on to the fifth problem, the fifth bit of this question, which says 2 raised to negative 3 times negative 7 raised to negative 3. So, we can write this as, we can see that the powers are same. 
and here instead of the bases being same the powers are same so we can directly multiply the bases that is we get 2 times negative 7 whole raised to negative 3 so that gives us negative 14 whole raised to negative 3 now as we can see that the term inside the brackets is negative and we have an odd power to it that is negative 3 we can write this as negative 1 over 14 whole raised to 3 so this is how we solve this problem and this is how we get the powers or the exponents positive to know more about how qmath can help you become a master of math explore qmath leap a live online classroom program taught by highly experienced and committed teachers